Hey what's up guys I'm back again with another tutorial on XSS series and this time we'll be studying reflected XSS. I've been concentrating on stored XSS for a while in this series of tutorials but this time we'll see how dangerous a uh, reflected XSS can be. These XSS are mostly found rather than stored ones because these are called low risk but for security researchers it's like goldman. So we'll see what kind of things we can do with this type of XSS. We'll study different types of XSS payloads. We'll study redirections. We'll study unvalidated downloads. So let's do this man. I have a target site here that is jetking.com. Basically this site is for IT professionals for coaching. They teach about security you know. So let's do this man. First of all if you want to try out any type of access in a website what we'll do is search for inputs so here is a search tab so i'll just try out basic of all scripts that is this alert try and search for this and we get a pop-up man this exact payload right here is not for like getting the pop-up it's for testing purpose i mean we go to uh, try and like test a site the first payload you will uh, use is this one to see how the filters are working which script stacks are being filtered or which signs are being filtered and all those other stuff so here we get the pop-up so it's kind of easy I'll again show you guys this payload here it's a normal payload it is script alert saying hacking monks and then close the script if you haven't like seen my basic XSS tutorials then you have to go and watch that man because you will not understand anything what's going on here. So I'll just search for this and boom. Let's see the source code here. So not much of filter going on here. That's why the first payload we tried out got success. Okay, man, clear. Then I'll show you some other payloads. Let's say if we want the cookie here, the session cookie. So we will be using this payload. I'm too lazy, man, to type this much. So I'll just copy paste it. So here's the script tag. To bypass the filters, we use these signs here. It's like closing, opening and then again closing document.cookie for getting the cookies. Yep, here we go man. Likewise, we have a redirection that is we can redirect this website using the legitimate URL to redirect it to another site. So we'll use script tags and then window.location and here we will specify our redirect domain so here i am saying it's hackingmonks.net which is our site so and then close the script let's see if it redirects yes it does so this payload also working cool man okay then there is this kind of payload just not normally use any kind of uh, tag here you can like use many type of tags but you have to like write that payload properly say if these signs here these two signs are being filtered then you can kind of use this type of payload it is awesome and if you search for it let's see if it pops up so here we get something to write it will basically open you a input frame a input form actually for the user if you click on it then you will get something like this so what you what you can do is just if these two signs are being filtered these two signs what you can do is use this payload 
and then use the legitimate payload that is having script tag and both those signs and like hit enter and you will get the pop-up menu. I also want to introduce you guys to another payload which is which is having an iframe tag so it is also very dangerous if this works here because it will open a iframe and if you have seen my basic tutorials introduction tutorials then opening a website in an iframe can very be harmful so let's try and use this too yep it got the pop-up and we have an iframe here so just if we want to like get the iframe what we will do is just remove this here javascript alert try it normally and here we go man we have that website in an iframe now we can use any other websites domain name enter here and we will get our things done and then there is another payload which is having the same kind of uh, script but if you notice that here one alphabet is capital and another one is small then capital which helps to bypass some filters which are filtering this script tag here we can use this too of course this will pop us up because there is nothing to filter here yep and note that these all are reflected accesses not stored they are not stored in the application so it doesn't mean any harm till now so now what we can do with this is we can redirect our target to our phishing page or a download link which is having a .exe file that is a virus or you can say a payload a redirect to a website causes many things many problems uh, both these two are one of the forms which you can attack using reflected accesses and redirecting the website we had used this payload here to like redirect us to uh, another location so what we can do is similarly we can add a download file link in the script and we can like execute it and the target will go to this uh, download web page let's hit search and let's see how yep the program is being downloaded it's actually google chrome it's kind of virus too so yeah there are also couple of uh, alternates for attacking with reflected accesses that is cookie stealing and then there is accesses to rce that is remote code execution if you don't know what is remote code execution then you have to, go, have to follow my tutorials on uh, remote code execution which i had uploaded uh, last month so yeah we will be looking for these two types of attacks in the upcoming tutorials now it's a wrap up man i'll meet you guys in the next tutorial until then have a safe hack